Hello, it is Friday and it is day five of Wagon Week, where I look at Dapples, mostly Dapples, in fact, not all of them are Dapple, uh, range of O-Gage wagons, uh, ready to run wagons, of course, and today I have the 14-ton tank wagon, Class B, Berry Wiggins, Black 101. This, as you will notice, is a very, very similar to the shell one from yesterday. I left my purchase price on there, which is 50 pounds, which was for on trains for you. So this has got the windowed box again. And if we can just slide that out, it's a windowed box with just some branding on it really. And of course the type of wagon it is. And I've got my receipt. Oh, that was bought on the 21st of July. How interesting, yes. Hmm. Curious, I forgot that was in there. Uh, but anyway, if we just go to open up this, this is actually quite tight. Ooh. Oh, I don't like the squeaking. And yes, as per the shell wagon from yesterday, same packaging, entirely identical, pretty much interchangeable. Sheet, off it comes. And again, I'm kind of reiterating a lot of the shell stuff from yesterday. Now there is, I think, some slight variation on the top. There is some... Um, Obviously, the, the chassis is cast again, which gives it that nice weight still. But it's in this really quite striking black. And yes, yesterday I actually said that I quite like colourful wagons. By this counts, this counts. Now with the Berry Wiggins and Co. Limited Field House Fetter Lane, Fetter Lane, sorry, London EC4. I think they're. They were quite a big company, I think. I don't know anything about them. So yeah, if we just bring that in, so that is actually all legible to the naked eye. Just not my camera because my camera is quite old. And yeah, still spring buffers. And very well, Place transfers actually the, the transfers are very nice the, the, well I think it's actually printing rather than transfers but uh, yes it's it's a wagon yeah I hear you say that and very much so we've got the uh, ladders on the side here in there they're black as well and I can't really much say much more to add to what I said yesterday about the a shell wagon which it's just really finely done and i think for 50 pounds for a ready to run wagon in such good quality and such good paint work such good livery it's a fairly good deal uh, compared to when you look at the price of oo which is very much creeping up then i think o gauge uh, if you buy yourself an o gauge loco and a Three or four tankers, 400 pounds. You've got yourself a, a start of a, an O-gauge layout. And yeah, you can set your loco up, just shunt these backwards and forwards. And as you can see, these roll very well. Can't really complain about these that much at all, really. If they were a five rod, by loads. <laughs> but they're 50 pounds, so yeah or whatever that comes to in dollars. Yeah, we are, I've, I've, I've run out of things to say really, because I've already said it all yesterday, even because I'm looking at the same wagon in a different livery. Uh, this is a Friday job, Friday half job, but the wagon is really good. So thanks very much for listening and thanks very much for putting up with me so far this week. There will be a Saturday and a Sunday 
in this wagon week. So there are in definitely going to be seven wagons. And I hope for some something different. Thank you very much for watching. And I shall speak to you tomorrow. Bye for now.